Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the section Equal Codes and we have discussed the questions on page 72. Today, we are going to discuss the next section Length of Codes. We have seen that the length of a code is determined by the distance from the center. Let us see how to find the length of a code exactly. Let me draw a circle at first. Now let me draw a code. Now let us draw a perpendicular from the center to the code. Now let us join the center to this end. Now we got a right angle triangle. This is a right angle because this is the perpendicular from center to the code. The hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is the radius. And this is the perpendicular from the center to the code. And the third side is half the code. We know in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square or base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus altitude square. Therefore, square of half the code is equal to square of the radius minus square of the perpendicular distance from the center to the code. Or we can say, in a circle, the square of half a code is the difference of the squares of the radius and the perpendicular from the center to the code. In another words, if length of the code is L, distance from the center to a code is D and radius of the circle is R, then L by 2 all square is equal to R square minus D square. Now let us do a problem. Radius of a circle is 4 centimeters and the distance from the center to a code is 3 cm. What is the length of the code? Here, radius is 4 cm. That means R is 4 cm. And the distance from the center to a code is 3 cm. That is, D is 3 cm. We need to find the length of the code. We know L by 2 all square is equal to R square minus D square. R is 4 and D is 3. So this can be written as 4 square minus 3 square. 4 square is 16 and 3 square is 9. So this can be written as 16 minus 9 and that is equal to 7. L by 2 all square is 7. Therefore L by 2 equal to root of 7 or half the length of the code is root 7. Therefore length of the code is equal to 2 times root 7 or 2 root 7 centimeters. Second problem. The distance between the ends of a piece of a bangle is 4 cm and its height is 1 cm. Calculate the radius of the full bangle. This is a piece of a bangle and the distance between the ends is 4 cm and this height is 1 cm. Let us draw the full bangle at first. This is the piece of the bangle and this is the full bangle. The distance between the ends is 4 cm. Actually, this is a code of the circle. Now, let us draw a perpendicular from center to this code like this. Now, let us join the center to this end of the code. Since this length is 4 cm, this part is 2 cm and this part is 2 cm. Because we know the perpendicular from center to a code bisect the code. The height of this piece is 1 cm. Therefore, this length is 1 cm. Let us take the radius of this circle as r. Then this is also a radius. Therefore, it is also equal to r. Since this length is 1 cm, this length is r minus 1 cm. Now the sides of this right angle triangle are r, r minus 1 and 2. We know hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square or base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus altitude square. Therefore, r square minus r minus 1 all square is equal to 2 square. r minus 1 all square is r square minus 2r plus 1. So, this can be written as r square minus r square minus 2r plus 1 equal to 4. Let us remove the bracket at first. Then we have to give this minus sign to each term within the bracket. So this can be written as r square minus r square plus 2r minus 1 equal to 4. r square minus r square is equal to 0. So this can be written as 2r minus 1 equal to 4. 
Let us take minus 1 on the other side. Therefore, 2 r equal to 4 plus 1 and that is equal to 5. Taking 2 on the other side, we can write r equal to 5 by 2 and 5 by 2 equal to 2.5. That is radius of this circle is 2.5 centimeters or radius of the full bangle is 2.5 centimeters. Now let us discuss the problems on page 73. First problem. In a circle, a chord 1 cm away from the center is 6 cm long. What is the length of a chord 2 cm away from the center? Let us draw a figure at first. Let us draw a circle. Let O be the center. Now let us draw a chord which is 1 cm away from the center. Its length is 6 cm. Now let us draw another chord which is 2 cm away from the center. We need to find the length of this chord. Let us join the center to the ends of these chords like this. Let the chords be AB and CD. And let the perpendiculars intersect these chords at P and Q. Now we can see two right angle triangles here. Triangle OPB is a right angle triangle. Triangle OQD is another right angle triangle. Let us take the triangle OPB. We know hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square. Therefore, OB square equal to OP square plus PB square. OP is 1. Since AB is 6 cm, PB is 3 cm. So, this can be written as 1 square plus 3 square. 1 square is 1 and 3 square is 9. So, this can be written as 1 plus 9 and that is equal to 10. The square of OB is 10. Now let us take the second right angle triangle OQD. We know base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus altitude square. That is QD square is equal to OD square minus OQ square. OB and OD are the radii of the same circle. So they are equal. Therefore their squares are also equal. Since OB square is 10, OD square is also equal to 10. Now OQ is 2. So this can be written as 10 minus 2 square. 2 square is 4. So this can be written as 10 minus 4 and that is equal to 6. Square of QD is 6. Therefore QD equal to root 6. We know QD is half CD. Therefore CD equal to 2 times root 6 or 2 root 6. That is length of the code which is 2 cm away from the center is 2 root 6 cm. Second problem. In a circle of radius 5 cm, two parallel chords of lengths 6 and 8 cm are drawn on either side of a diameter. What is the distance between them? If parallel chords of these lengths are drawn on the same side of a diameter, what would be the distance between them? Let us draw a figure at first. Let us draw a circle. Now let us draw two parallel chords. Length of this code is 6 cm and length of this code is 8 cm. They are drawn on either side of the diameter. Now we need to find the distance between them. Let the codes be AB and CD and let the center be O. Let us draw perpendiculars from the center to these codes. Let them meet the codes at P and Q. Now let us join O to B and O to D. Given that the radius of the circle is 5 cm, therefore OD is 5 cm and OB is also 5 cm. We can see two right triangles here. OPB is a right angle triangle and OQD is another right angle triangle. From this right angle triangle, OP square is equal to OB square minus PB square. OB is 5. Since AB is 6, PB is 3. Therefore, this can be written as 5 square minus 3 square. 5 square is 25 and 3 square is 9. So, this can be written as 25 minus 9 and that is equal to 16. OP square is 16. Therefore, OP equal to root 16 or 4 centimeters. Now, let us take the second right angle triangle, triangle OQD. 
we know qd square is equal to od square minus oq square od is 5 centimeter and since cd is 8 centimeter qd is 4 centimeter so this can be written as 5 square minus 4 square 5 square is 25 4 square is 16 so this can be written as 25 minus 16 and that is equal to 9 oq square equal to 9 therefore oq equal to 3 centimeters now let us find the distance between the parallel chords. The distance between these two chords is PQ. And PQ can be written as OP plus OQ. OP is 4 cm and OQ is 3 cm. So this can be written as 4 plus 3 and that is equal to 7. That is the distance between these two chords is 7 cm. Now suppose these parallel chords are on the same side of the diameter what would be the distance between them let us draw the figure at first let us draw the circle let us draw two parallel chords which are on the same side of the diameter the lengths are 6 cm and 8 cm let the chords be AB and CD and let the center be O now let us draw perpendiculars to these chords let them meet at P and Q. Now let us join OB and OD. Given that the radius is 5 cm. Therefore OD is 5 cm and OB is 5 cm. Now consider the right angle triangle OPB. OP square is equal to OB square minus PB square. That is 5 square minus 3 square. And that is equal to 4. We have already found that OP is 4. In the same way, OQ is root of 5 square minus 4 square and that is equal to 3 centimeters. We have already found the length of OP and OQ. Now the distance between the chords is PQ. It can be written as OP minus OQ. OP is 4 centimeters and OQ is 3 centimeters. So this can be written as 4 minus 3 and that is equal to 1. That means the distance between the chords is 1 centimeter when they are on the same side of the diameter. Third problem. The bottom side of the quadrilateral in the picture is a diameter of the circle and the top side is a chord parallel to it. Calculate the area of the quadrilateral. Let us take the figure at first. This is the diameter and this is a chord parallel to the diameter. These two sides are parallel. Therefore, it is a trapezium. We need to find the area of this trapezium. We know area of a trapezium is half h into a plus b. Where a and b are the length of the parallel sides. Here length of parallel sides are 5 cm and 3 cm. And h is the distance between them. So we need to find the distance between the diameter and this chord. So let us first find it. Let us draw a perpendicular from the center to the chord. Now let me join the center to this point. Let the center be O. Let this point be A. And let this point be B. The diameter is 5 cm. Therefore the radius is 2.5 cm. OB is the radius of the circle. Therefore, it is 2.5 cm. The length of this chord is 3 cm. We know the perpendicular from the center to a chord bisect the chord. Therefore, AB equal to 1.5 cm. It's a right angle triangle. And we know altitude square is equal to hypotenuse square minus B square. That is OA square equal to OB square minus AB square. OB is 2.5 and AB is 1.5. So this can be written as 2.5 square minus 1.5 square. We know A square minus B square equal to A plus B into A minus B. Therefore 2.5 square minus 1.5 square is equal to 2.5 plus 1.5 into 2.5 minus 1.5. 2.5 plus 1.5 is 4. And 2.5 minus 1.5 is 1. So this can be written as 4 into 1. And that is equal to 4. That is 
o a square is equal to 4 therefore o a equal to root of 4 or 2 centimeters o a is the distance from the center to this code or based on the trapezium it is the distance between these two parallel sides so we can say h equal to 2 centimeter we know area of the trapezium is half h into a plus b a and b are the length of the parallel sides given that they are 3 and 5 and we have found h as 2 replacing the values we get half into 2 into 3 plus 5 half into 2 is 1 and 3 plus 5 is 8 so this is equal to 8 that means area of this quadrilateral equal to 8 centimeter square today we have discussed the section length of the codes and we have learned in a circle the square of half a code is the difference of the squares of the radius and the perpendicular from the center to the code now there is a homework in a circle two parallel codes of lengths 4 and 6 centimeters are 5 centimeters apart what is the radius of the circle we will discuss the remaining part in the next video till then bye